Welcome to church, everyone. Very glad you're here today because this is a, an important thing we talk about today for a few minutes. We've heard the Bible readings, Old Testament, New Testament, and stories from the life of Jesus. We have a few moments together to think about them and uh, listen to what I say about them, I guess. And what's really interesting about this one is Jesus says that everyone who follows him will be able to uh, hear his voice just like the shepherd could speak to the sheep and the sheep would recognize the voice of the shepherd. That's kind of the metaphor and the analogy he uses. Sheep could recognize the voice of a shepherd and he says, well, I am like a good shepherd to you. My disciples will continue to hear my voice within them even after Easter, even after all the resurrection appearances and after I'm gone from this earth they will still hear my voice within and they'll be able to follow me. Now the funny thing about that is everybody here has a voice within them. Even right now you can have a voice within you even while you're listening to me. <laughs> and, and everything, uh, some of you are thinking about the grocery list right now and you're thinking, boy, I wonder why I came to church today or thinking, I can't wait to hear the sermon. David is the greatest preacher I've ever heard in my life. I know most of you are thinking that. But the truth is, there are lots of voices going on in our head all the time. And the tricky part is trying to uh, separate them out. If you hear something from above or from the Good Shepherd or from God, how could I uh, separate that voice out from the other voices going on in my head? There are, it's a very busy place in there. <laughs> there are lots of voices talking. For instance, one of the voices... Uh, <laughs> Everyone's got something of their parents' voices in their head from old times. Every time I'm at dinner and I have a, a plate of uh, food in front of me, my mom would always say, eat your greens, especially the peas. <laughs> so whenever I have peas, I think of my mom, eat your peas. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the voice of the Good Shepherd because peas are kind of nasty. But I do hear my mom's voice a lot. She also had a thing for lima beans. Who likes lima beans? Nobody. The only people who like lima beans are the ones who like Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprout people and the lima, they should all be in one little group and they could have their green. Because <laughs> nobody else likes them. But I wanted to say in a serious vein that God does uh, uh, speak to our hearts and there's a voice within us and impulses within us, urges within us that are really from a, a sacred place. They come from the voice of the Good Shepherd, but it can be lost or confused or diluted or just not heard because there, there's so many voices in us speaking all at the same time. So, in order to uh, maybe help us in that direction, I came up with a couple things which you will recognize as maybe helpful, I hope, to you in your personal life that you could leave today and say, well, at least I know a couple things that will help me discern the voices in my head which ones are from the Good Shepherd and which ones are from other places. So, I find this to be true. I'll give you three things. We could talk about this forever and talk about five things, ten things, but who can absorb all that in one sermon? Right? Let's just stick with three things. It would be kind of helpful to us when we're trying to think about how God speaks to us. Uh, the first one is this. If what I'm thinking about and maybe the action I'm called to do or the direction I want to go in if it if it completely is stressful and I think of it as onerous and full of work if it drains my energy I'm not sure that is the voice of a good shepherd within you if on the other hand it gives you more life more energy if it energizes you, that could be something of a higher order. Now I'm not saying that there are things in your life you won't like to do. I do want to say though, if something is going to energize you and feed your passion, that could be something that you should know that will maybe be aligning you, putting you in alignment with the voice of the shepherd and with the Holy Spirit with the divine life of the universe 
when you feel passionate and energized. But if you leave uh, what you're doing or you're in the midst of it, you say, is this from God? Is this from the Good Shepherd? And you leave like, this is so hard and I hate doing this. It's so stressful. It's full of straining and working. It drains me. I get no life out of this. I'm not sure that's from God. I'm not saying you don't have to do it. Like, who likes doing the laundry every day and mowing the yard? You might have to do that. But if we're talking about inspiration here, and something that might be a voice of the shepherd, it should really give us energy and passion. It should fill us up, even while we're doing it. It should make us feel like we're more alive. So, that would be the first thing I'd mention when you're trying to discern what is from God and what is just from some other sources that are from within us. <laughs> well, the second one is this. This is a pretty easy one to figure out. If I hear something from within, an urging, an impulse, or a calling, and it makes me full of fear, anxiety, anger, negative emotions, I'm not sure that's uh, something from God. That's probably something from my own ego, my own personality, my own demons within. On the other hand, if what I hear from within brings me some sense of joy or peace or even, even a sense of love, then I think, well, maybe that's probably something from above. But I'm pretty sure when I'm into negative emotions, anxious, fear, angry, if I'm resentful or bitter, I think this is probably not from above. This is from something else from within me. But on the other hand, if it's a positive sense, if it brings me a sense of joy, wonderment, even being at ease, peace, I think that's from God. Or it could be from God. I know it's not if it fills me full of negativity. So that's the second thing. The first one was whether it is full of work or play. Second one is whether it's full of positive or negative. Where should we go with the last one? I've got quite a list here. <laughs> well, what about this one? When I'm sitting in my office, the third and final um, discerning, hope, hopefully a discerning attribute for you. If what I'm doing, what I'm called to do, and I think it's from above, if I feel like it really uh, focuses me or centers me and concentrates me, I think that could be something from the voice of the Good Shepherd. But if I'm not, for instance, if I'm in my office and I'm doing five things at once, like, I'm trying to finish an email and answer the text on my phone and have a conversation with the person who's actually standing in front of me and write down on my to-do list the four things that I'm going to do at 2 o'clock. Then all that together, lumped together, I'm not sure I'm in alignment with the divine will. I'm not sure I'm listening very carefully to the voice of God. I think I'm probably just running, running amok. That's the, that's the David run amok. But if I can be uh, focused and centered and feel like I'm concentrated like a laser beam on what I'm doing, and I think that's when I'm really in the place of listening to God. So one disperses my energies, the other one kind of focuses my energies. So. Those are just three things I wanted to share with you today and this morning. I know it's kind of a brown paper bag sermon. It's kind of like, wow, that wasn't very fancy. That wasn't very clever. That was just kind of one, two, three. So yeah, it was kind of a one, two, three sermon. <laughs> so if, if you're going through your life and you're wondering if God really speaks to you, and if you could hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, I want to say affirm for you, yes, God speaks to you within. It's a spiritual thing. There's so many other voices are going on in our heads at one time. Everything from my mom to uh, what I want to what I think and my own ego speaking. It's so confusing what's going on inside. Yet, if you hear something from above, I think it'll lead you to a place where it's positive emotions, not negative. It leads you to a place where you're more focused, not so dispersed. 
and leave you in a place where it brings you more life, more energy, more joy. Not like this is the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. More strain, more stress, more conflict. So may you hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. I know you do. I just don't want you to get it confused with your mom who makes you talk about your peace. Listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd. I offer this to you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.